We're in Mallorca! Hi guys, I'm coming to you live from Mallorca. We've just arrived at our hotel. We've actually been here a couple of hours already, but we couldn't check in, so we've just been chilling at the pool. We had to do the dreaded, like, get changed in the lobby into a bikini and then go and chill at the pool, which I hate doing. If you know me, you know that's my, like, ultimate stress. But we've been chilling at the pool for a couple of hours and then the room has just become available, so we've just come up to check in. I'm just about to unpack everything. I'm just a bit of a neat freak with stuff like this. I feel like I need to get Zach out of the room and just do it myself so I've asked him if he can just go down to the pool and I'm just gonna have an hour in the room to just unpack tidy everything organize everything I just really need to know where my stuff is at all times but yeah I'll do a quick little room tour but thank you so much for clicking on this video this is gonna be a jam-packed fun-filled Mallorca vlog gonna do the full week I just don't know what's gonna happen I'm just so excited if you don't already know I'm here for my best friend's wedding which is in a couple of days so yeah we've got a couple of days beforehand a couple of days afterwards but yeah thank you so much for clicking on this video don't forget to subscribe while you're here and yeah let's have the best week so this is our room it's a little bit quirky it's kind of like quirky vibes this is the bed we've got twin beds which Zach is gonna boot off about but it is what it is and then we've got like a bedside stands we've got full length mirror which we love we always need a full length mirror and then I really actually appreciate this this is like the hanging clothes storage situation I've just started unpacking a few bits and I'm gonna just finish the rest but I feel like there's so much space here like so much space for all my toiletries all my camera equipment like makeup and stuff I'm gonna put shoes all along here and then like there's not loads of hanging space but it'll do and then some things can just oh I'm zooming yeah, the hanging space will do and then some things will just have to stay in our case. We've got a fridge, which I love. I hate when hotel rooms don't have a fridge because we need water and bits and bobs. Little dressing table where I'm assuming I'll do my makeup and stuff. And then we actually do have a balcony. It is just small. How do I get out of here? Um, oh, it's locked. Hmm, it's locked and I can't get out. Okay, I can't get out. I don't know why that is, but it's just a small balcony, but I'm definitely going to do my makeup and stuff on there later. And then it looks out over like this little beach area that's at the end of the hotel, which is cute. And then this is the bathroom. I mean, it is super cute. It is just quite small, but yeah, she's cute. So plan of action now is to unpack all of this stuff make it tidy, make it gorgeous, and then go get a couple of hours of sun. It's only about two o'clock, so I'm hoping that I can get a couple more hours of sun, get some color because I am a pasty pale girly. And then I'm not sure what the plan is tonight. I think everyone's quite tired, to be honest. I think it's probably just gonna be a chill one. We'll probably just go and get some like chilled food, maybe one or two drinks. I haven't actually had a drink yet, but Zach has had a couple of beer skis and I can tell because he's still my head in. But yeah, I just need to get this packed, like unpacked before I can relax. Is anyone else like that? Like I just need to be unpacked tidied cases away before I can relax on holiday because I'm just uptight like that but yeah anyways I'm gonna go do this and I'll see you soon I feel like a new woman have you ever seen such gorgeous organization in your entire life I genuinely just feel like I cannot settle on holiday until this is done I just like to have all of my things laid out like know what outfit options I've got know where all of my toiletries are and just be like feel like I can get ready like nicely rather than rummaging around in my suitcase so this makes me so happy like you don't even understand <laughs> we're a, bit, a little bit stingy on like the hanging space I've hung up as best I can some of my clothes and some of Zach's clothes I've had to really double up on the hanger space I've put my shoes underneath here and then I've put Zach's shoes on the bottom underneath there then this is Zach's shelf so I've just like folded up all of the bits that I couldn't hang up um, and put his little accessories and then I've put his swim shorts in this little basket these are my shelves so this is all like jewellery, makeup, hair stuff, curlers um, suntan lotion hats, all of my bags and then this is all like my camera stuff and then these two baskets up here I've put in all my bikinis and cover ups and extra bits of clothes and stuff so yeah this just makes me so happy these are some of my outfits that I've packed, the colour it's given colour, it's given mainly pink to be honest, but I love wearing pink, so love that for me. Zach actually fell asleep by the pool, so it worked out perfect, because I thought, you know what, while he's asleep, I'm gonna just dash up to the room, get all organised, and now I just feel so at peace. Like, get me a Jane, get me ready to go out, like I just feel settled, you know? Like, is anyone else like this? Can anyone else relate? Like, I just don't feel settled and like comfortable until like that bit is done, but like that is just bringing me so much joy, like, you're probably watching this thinking, girl, like you're on holiday, just relax, but the OCD girlies get it, like they get it. The only thing I'm unsure about is like my dress in the suit is just hung there because I'm like, I just don't really know where to hang it. Like it needs like a full length section and this obviously just isn't 
gonna be long enough. I could hang it right on the top, but then it's just gonna cover all this stuff and I like need access. So that is the only thing I'm unsure about. But other than that, I'm one happy girl. Okay, we are ready for night one. I've just actually filmed a get dressed with me, so that will be on my TikTok and potentially my Instagram. So go and follow me, it'll be linked down below if you haven't followed me already. But I'm wearing this dress from Zara. It was in one of my recent Zara hauls. It's just like a really cute pink dress. And then I've just got on some little white sandals and I'm gonna wear my trusty Zara bag. I'll try and prop you up and show you what I'm wearing, but I just feel like the lighting is the best here, but. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'll show you in the mirror, actually. Okay, this is the vibe. Cute little pink pleated mini dress. I've got in these little cute flower earrings as well, and then just she and sandals, and then I'm gonna wear my trusty Zara bag that I wear every single holiday. This is the finished outfit for tonight. I'm gonna head down to the pool now and get a drink at the pool before we go out for food, and I'm gonna take my camera, so I will vlog. But, yeah. Night one in Parma. <laughs> We're going to a random beach party at our hotel. Oh my god, this actually looks good. This is a queue. Mm -hmm. It's like a beach party at our hotel. I was looking at it from the balcony. No, wait, look at this. It's actually a beach party at our hotel. Like, we don't have to pay for it. We can just enter it. And other people have been coming from outside the hotel to get in. Look, there's like a full on queue. Sorry. Why does this actually look pretty cool? Why does it actually look pretty good? No, I'm listening to you. Oh, man, the camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty vibey. Look We just got to our restaurant. We've been to the beach party. It was actually, it was actually a vibe. So this is the restaurant that we're going to. It's actually super vibey. It's called El Chiringuito, and it's right like on the beach. Super cute. This is the new vlog camera. I feel like the quality is quality, but the boys have just gone to the loo, and we're gonna order some food. I feel like we're not that hungry. Oh, probably just gonna do cocktails instead. Hola! <laughs> <laughs> this is the vlog set up. I feel like the vlog vlogs. Like, it's actually good. Like, right, Dad. Hola! The vlog vlogs. Hola. I might start vlogging. I'm... I got myself a strawberry mojito and it's 98% rum. And I'm here for it. Breakfast time. What are those? Like chipolatas. No, thank you. Oh my goodness, this is an egg station. And then pancakes with peanut butter, powdered sugar, they look so good. And then they have all these gorgeous seeds and muffins and oats. Oh my god. This is so good. Pastries, peanut butter. Unreal. I was so impressed by the breakfast. This is what I've gone for. I've got an omelette. And this looks so good. It's got so much in it. And then I actually got us a plate of pastries each because we are starving. We didn't eat any dinner last night. Like absolutely nothing so all i had yesterday was that salad i had a salad that was it so i got a plate of pastries each and then i actually got stuff like a mini fryer an omelette and a coffee each so i'm gonna tuck in and devour this good morning right i'm on i've ate an omelette i'm ready to take my tan in seriously today the wedding is in two days three days so i need a tan i can't be wearing my bridesmaid's dress and be a pale girly so i've got my sheen keeny on and I'm ready to take my tannin, seriously today. We're gonna get the tannin butter, we're gonna be in the sun all day. We're not gonna get sunstroke. Let's go. I'm wearing my new Sheen bikini that I've got in my, I think it's my latest Sheen bikini haul, or maybe the one before that. This like floral number that I thought perfect for tannin. She's super cute, so yeah, tannin butter, ready to go. Let's go, bro. Time for some lunch. The lunch menu here in this hotel is actually so good. They have so many options, like loads of really healthy options, some a little bit more naughty options, but I am one hungry girl today, so I don't know whether to get a pizza. I feel like a pizza is always a good shout when you're on holiday, but I don't know, let's inspect. This is what I decided to get for dinner. I was feeling like a healthy option. I just feel like when I'm in the sun and in a bikini, like the last thing I want to do is eat like a giant burger some of the time. So 
I went for this, it's like a grilled chicken breast, and I don't know what these dips are. I mean, this looks fun, whatever this green one is. And then it came with some rice, I'm sure there's some like veggies in there as well. I think that looks really good. And then Zach got these pulled pork bao buns. Sorry, they look absolutely insane. I don't really like pork, but they do look delicious. Ooh, it is hot today. It is really, really hot. We just had a full tanning day because I just really wanted to get like a full day in the sun. So I've took it seriously today. I think I've done the best that I can do. I mean, I'm not really tanned, but it's gonna have to do. I was getting too hot and I was getting, you know, and you just bothered. So I've come up to the room. I'm gonna have a quick shower and then start getting ready. I might actually film a get ready with me. We have like this cute little balcony area and I'm thinking I could maybe like, Set no, you're gonna be able to hear the music, aren't you? I was thinking I could set my phone up and do a little get ready with me, but you're gonna be able to hear the music. I mean, I could sit here. Mm, don't know, might not happen. But anyways, I'm gonna have a shower and then we're going out for dinner and drinks in the marina, I believe. I've got about two hours, so I just really want to give myself enough time to like get ready nicely, you know, like not be in a rush, like choose a nice outfit, all the things. Night two, let's go. I've gone for this like really kind of fresh faced glowy glam. I actually haven't used a foundation. I've just used the L'Oreal Glotion, which by the way, the L'Oreal Glotion goes off. Like, do not sleep on the L'Oreal Glotion. So I just used that and then I've crimped my hair or waved it, mermaid waved it, but then I was just getting a bit hot with it down in my face. I've put my little clip in, which is my personality trait, flower earrings, flower hair clip. We love it. I've got on this little dress from Zara. Let me show you in the mirror. This is the outfit I've got on this little dress from Zara. And then I'm actually gonna change my shoes. I forgot to change my shoes. I'm about to do that right now. I'll be wearing a pair of little heeled sandals. Let's do that and then resume. I'm having to do my outfit of the night in the lift because I was late and I was getting shouted at by Zach. I've got on this cute little dress from Zara. I've got on my little sheen shoes and I've put the little like flower clips on them. So cute. And then I've just got my DKNY bag and my little flower clip in my head. I'm ready to go eat some food. I am starved. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Health, happiness. We've come to the most gorgeous sunset bar for drinks. We've just met four of our other friends. So there's me, two of the couples basically. Look at this sunset bar. Talk about golden hour. I can't even open my eyes. The sun is glaring in my eyes. But it's the most gorgeous little bar on the marina. We're just having some mojitos, some olives, some bread. Look at this view. Honestly, so gorgeous. It's like the most gorgeous bar right on the sea. Watching the sunset. Yeah, we're just gonna have a couple of drinks here and then I think we're gonna head downstairs and get some food because we are starting to get a little bit peggish. But... <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous views. Look at these views. Get me one of these yachts. Sorry, I'll have that one. I'll have that one, thank you very much. This is the most beautiful setting. Look at these gorgeous views. I feel like just, I would love to live in Spain. Like, is this not the most gorgeous vibes? No, yeah, you look cute, you look gorgeous. Pringles in. I'm just having a nice dip. Look, these are I need Botox. This is where we're going. Uh, new job. I want to be sexy. Yes, absolutely. Food has arrived. I got this Caesar salad. Oh, well, does it really look like Caesar salad? I'm a bit confused. But anyways, inside the chips. Is that not the most girl dinner ever? I have had an espresso martini, Caesar salad, and chips. Literally, girl dinner. Everybody else got these like cheap salad. There's so many cheap cheeks on the table, but I just don't like them. And then we've got this. This does look amazing. I'm trying to angle this camera, but it's so low, literally. Girl dinner. Chips and garlic alioli. Like. Does it get more holiday vibes than that? This Caesar salad is a bit strange. Like I'm not really entirely sold on this. It's got like these weird like crisps on it, but. Gorge. The food baby, excuse me, just sorry, same. <laughs> the baby is baby, and what are you calling yours? Uh, Brett. Mine's gonna be called George. It's given Auntie Nadia. Hi guys, I thought while I was getting ready, we could just do a little bit of makeup together. This isn't the best setup in the world. I've tried my best to get something 
situated, but the mirror I can't really see and I'm actually crouching because if I sit on the floor, it's too low and if I sit on the chair, it's too high. So I'm in this crouching position. So I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to hold this for. I've actually not been wearing foundation the last couple of days since I've started to catch a little bit of a tan. All I've been wearing is this L'Oreal Glotion. I've got it in the shade 903 Medium Glow and honestly, it just gives your skin such a nice glow, just a little bit of color. I feel like when you've caught the sun, you don't actually really need foundation, you just need something with a little bit of a, a tint or a little bit of a base, just to kind of even out your complexions. I've been really enjoying doing this the last, well, the last day or two since I caught the sun. Just, yeah, look at that glow that it gives you. So nice, and I use my foundation brush to apply it because then I feel like it just gives you a little bit extra coverage, whatever's actually on the brush from like using it previously with foundation, just helps blend it in. So nice. Tonight is actually the first official like wedding event. So I'm just getting ready now. We're basically just going for a dinner and a couple of drinks at this really gorgeous beach house. Um, I think it's close to the wedding venue. I'm not exactly sure where it is, I'll be honest, but we're just going for dinner and drinks there tonight. And I'm not gonna drink, I don't think, because the wedding is tomorrow. I need to be up and at the wedding venue for 8 a.m. It's a 30 minute drive, so I need to be on form tomorrow as well. Obviously, bridesmaids duties, I feel like there's gonna be a lot to do, a lot going on. The last thing that I can be is just hungover or a bit like foggy. I am so excited slash so nervous for tomorrow. Like, I genuinely, genuinely just don't know what to expect. Like, I don't know what the, like, the venue really looks like. I just don't know what the morning's gonna entail. I don't know how stressful it's gonna be, if it's just gonna be hectic or it's gonna be like really chill. Like, I just really, really don't know what to expect, so. I just have such a nervous tummy, like I just can't shake that really nervous, anxious, excited feeling. Obviously I'm excited and obviously it's gonna be like the best thing ever, but you know, when you just don't know what to expect, you can't picture anything in your head, you just feel a bit, I don't know. The weather today has actually been a bit rubbish as well, which is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping to have one extra full day of tanning today so I could really build up my tan, but it's been overcast all day and it's actually just started to rain which isn't the one. However, the forecast for tomorrow is 31 degrees blazing sunshine, so it's gonna be gorgeous. I kinda wish it was gonna be a little bit cooler because I just think it's gonna be very hot and very busy and everyone's gonna be in full on like suits and like heavy outfits. So I do kinda wish the weather swapped and like today was the really hot day and tomorrow was more of the overcast day. I think that would have worked a little bit better, but there's one thing that you can't control. It's the weather. I don't actually know what I'm gonna wear tonight. I have like two or three different options. So I need to just allow myself enough time to have like half an hour to just mess about and decide what I wanna wear. I think people are going some dressy, some casual. So I might do a really dressy outfit, but then I might do flat sandals to kind of go somewhere in the middle. I also don't want to have sore feet tonight because I feel like I need to save them for tomorrow as well. I have such a nervous tummy. I, honestly, I can't shake it and it's making me just feel like really on edge. Like I should obviously feel really excited, which I do, but I just feel like I cannot shake this nervous tummy. I don't know whether I need to eat something or I need to just relax, but it's obviously just a mixture of excitement as well because there's so many people gonna be here that I haven't seen for such a long time. So it is gonna be so lovely, but it's just a lot. And if I feel like this, I can't even imagine how the bride and groom feel because I feel so overwhelmed. So they must feel overwhelmed times like a million, really, truly, because it's just a lot, like there is a lot going on. Obviously there's a lot of people to please, a lot of people to, well not to please, but to, I suppose they're your wedding guests, aren't they? So to entertain, I don't know, I'm just rambling. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup because I cannot sit on my heels for any longer. I'm genuinely in so much pain. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the makeup and then I'll be back to show you the finished result and then we can pick an outfit. Okay, this is the finished glam. I've kept it quite fresh faced. I did pink blush, pink highlighter because you know, I'm just in my pink makeup era, I love it. And this is my favorite nude lip at the minute. It's this combo. It's the Kiko Really Really Dark Brown Lip Liner. This is actually like discontinued or they don't sell it anymore, but it's basically exactly the same as MAC Cork, like literally exactly the same. And then it's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. It's like this really nice, like browny, pinky nude. And when it dries down, it just dries down so matte. And I just feel like this is my perfect nude at the minute. I'm kind of nervous for the makeup tomorrow. Obviously we're getting our hair and makeup done like by a hair and makeup artist, but you know when you just like the way you do your makeup, like I'm sure she'll do an absolutely gorgeous job, but I haven't had my makeup done in years, like genuinely since I was a teenager and I used to go to like Mac and get them to do my makeup. So I just feel a little bit nervous of like how she's gonna do it and 
if I'm gonna like it and I'm sure she will do a gorgeous job but don't know nervy right I need to quickly pick an outfit I've got two different options I've got a green option and a pink option so I'm gonna just whip one of them on and let's see okay we are ready this is the finished look I'm gonna try and show you but I'll get Zach to take a video when I go downstairs I've gone for this dress from Zara. This was actually in one of my recent Zara hauls. So go back, I think it was one or two hauls ago. Go back and see, I've added a little necklace and I've added these little flowery earrings. I've just done flat sandals because I do have a full day in heels tomorrow. So I just figured flat sandals would do the job. But I really, really like this dress. It feels really feminine, really girly. But yeah, it's time to go get some tapas. I've already spied the menu and I already know what I want. This is my outfit of the night. Tink dress, white bag, white shoes the white shoes white shoes <laughs> too much and yeah we're gonna go get some gorgeous food i already know that i'm getting the salmon so i'm excited taxi's here let's go hi how are you good thank you good thank you so it is just a restaurant but i think that we have all of this area booked so like the rest of the wedding guests are going to join and that's great on the sea we have this gorgeous table on the end the aesthetic, the aesthetic, and then we're right out on the pier. So we've got this gorgeous view out over the ocean while we have dinner. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm literally obsessed with the aesthetics. If I was to have like a giant home, I feel like this is what I would have like all wood and all green. I just feel like it looks unreal. We're a little bit early, nobody else is actually here, so we're never usually early. So I'm gonna take advantage of that, I'm gonna just chill. And yeah, wait for everybody else to get here. I am so excited. Cheers, everyone. Thank you very much. Cheers, 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 cheers. Ordered myself a little Bombay Bramble. These cocktails are one of my favorite cocktails ever. I don't think they can eat me. Shot Bombay Bramble, absolutely unreal. This is the most gorgeous restaurant ever. It's a gorgeous beach club. We've got a gorgeous view. Ready to go again. I am so excited. Sangria bread. Um. This is my actual dream. Little bits of pita bread dipped in hummus. Is that Oh my god. It's so good. There's also beetroot hummus. Matches my dress, matches the vibes. I could eat bread and hummus every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> and be one very happy girl. Wow. Thank you so much. Lovely, thank you very much. Salmon. 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 Teriyaki salmon. With some little bits of veg. I mean, there's not much veg going on. Thank you very much. Oh, you've not got any food? No, no, no. Thank you. I was going to go over and say, my mum loves you. Now, can I go? Uh -huh. You would have said yes, 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Dinner completed. So much bread and so much sangria consumed. The bread belly is real. She's acting like that's a bad thing. The bread belly is real, but <laughs> all of the lads have actually left to watch the Euros, which is apparently there's some dive bar about 10 minutes away, and they've all gone to watch the England game. The girls stayed and did girly things because- White sangria. We're just not interested. <laughs> but we've decided that the sensible thing to do is to go and collect them because- We don't trust them again. We don't, yeah, home we by don't trust them. And we're actually only a short taxi distance away from Magaluf. So we're concerned <laughs> that that could end up being a situation. Yes. So we're on a little mission to try and find the bar, try and find the boys and go home because this girlie has to wash her hair and get up at 6 a.m. So <laughs> yeah. And the wedding's tomorrow. <laughs> okay guys, I am home. I am showered, my hair is washed. I just need to finish drying my hair. My skincare is done, I'm clean. I have all of my bags packed for in the morning. I have my dress hung up and ready to go. It is... It's 9.52, so the plan of action is to pot around for another 30 minutes or so, make sure I'm fully organised, finish drying my hair, and then get into bed. I have to be up, I have to be at the wedding venue for 8am, and it's about 30 minutes, so 7.30, so I probably have to be up 6.30 really, well, probably not, probably like 7, but I just want to buy myself enough time that if I'm tired in the morning, I just want to be fresh tomorrow. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm probably gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I might make this into a two-part vlog just because I feel like I have got quite a lot of footage. So rather than make it an hour-long vlog, I don't know if I'll make it like a two-part vlog. So 
if I do decide to end this vlog here, thank you so, so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. Make sure you stick around for part two of the vlog because I will resume the vlogging obviously first thing in the morning and the actual wedding commences for the next couple of days and then we've got a few days after the wedding as well. So I feel like it might be a two-parter situation. But yeah, thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I will see you all in the morning. Good night.